Ah, this episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by GoDaddy. Okay, I've been doing a lot of downer uh, uh, pen points lately, real downer ones, because there's a lot of stuff in the news that's been bumming me. And I've been doing all this kind of, um, uh, everything I'm saying, I'm trying to modulate it carefully, I'm trying to uh, undersell it, I'm slow playing everything, I'm very full of doubt. It's, it's been just a nutty time uh, for doing this, these things, and I'm, I've been waiting to have something, that, I guess they can edit out that belch. I've been waiting to have something that I can do uh, that I can really be passionate about and not hold back at all. Let me say this very, very clearly. Um, I, in New York City, saw the best thing I've ever seen. The best thing I've ever seen. I've seen The Clash. I've seen The Sex Pistols. I've seen Bob Dylan. Okay? I've seen Sun Ra. I have seen George Carlin. I have seen Gilbert Gottfried. I've seen Stephen Wright. I have seen really, really good things. I have seen Tom Stoppard. Okay? I have seen really, really good things. I have seen really good movies. I have seen Dawn of the Dead, both of them. I have seen really, really good things. I believe I saw the best thing I have ever seen. And I went into the theater expecting it to be really, 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 really good. And it's better than that by a lot. And I am talking about the Book of Mormon. Trey and Matt's Broadway musical, The Book of Mormon. It is the best thing I have ever seen. And I went backstage uh, afterwards, I met, uh, Trey, I met the cast, and I met Trey and Matt and talked to them a little bit because I, I know them. And um, I wasn't, I, I didn't dare say at that time it was the best thing I'd ever seen. I said I thought it was the best thing I'd ever seen, but I had to think about it. And I've thought about it now for a couple weeks. I can't think of anything better I have ever seen. Maybe I'll come up with something as good that I've seen. Um, but <sighs> motherfucker, is it good? It is the best thing I have ever seen. The Book of Mormon by Trey and Matt. And I know John Stewart just, you know, shot cum all over them up to their knees and just loved them and blew them and said everything. And I know that after I saw it, the New York Times, I don't read reviews of anything, but the New York Times. Teller said, gave it what he believes is the best review that's ever been printed in the New York Times on anything. And uh, I know that everyone is saying it's the greatest, and I know it's completely sold out forever, and I won't even have a chance of getting in to see it again, which I would in a second. My wife uh, flew out on her birthday, which is right when it opened, to see the Book of Mormon and came back saying it was the greatest thing she'd ever seen. And she was so over the top about it that I was skeptical or something. Um, but I, I then saw it a couple weeks later. Uh, we rushed over the night we did Jimmy Fallon. We rushed over afterwards and saw it. And it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I don't want to tell you uh, anything about it. You know that it's Trey and Matt. So you know that it has obscenity in it. You know that it is deeply and profoundly funny. You know if you saw Bigger, Longer, and Uncut and Team America that the uh, musical numbers that they do, uh, and there's also the guy from Avenue Q involved in this who's not to be dismissed. He, he's, he's fabulous and made it great, and the director is unfucking believable. The choreography is fabulous. All the performances are beyond perfect. They're all inspired. Uh, Josh, I guess, who plays uh, one of the leads and the other the, the other Mormon, fabulous. All the people playing the Africans. There is not a bad performance. The set is perfect. Uh, uh, every joke, there's not one cheap joke in the whole thing. Every joke is perfect. Every joke moves the story along. It is Rodgers and Hammerstein. It is Sondheim. It is everything that's perfect about musical theater. And I don't give a fuck about any of that. There's a lot of stuff 
that's perfectly acted. There's a lot of stuff with all perfect jokes. There's a lot of stuff with great, great songs. There's a lot of stuff that makes you just want to cheer for the pure beauty and power of it. But this is beyond that. This is emotionally, philosophically, from the heart, one of the most beautiful things, probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I, maybe you've heard, am an atheist and a hardcore atheist. And I have said many times over and over again, hate religion, don't hate people. Hate all religions, don't hate any people. And this show, The Book of Mormons, completely and utterly on every front, trashes and demolishes the Mormon religion. Every single tenet of Mormonism is lampooned, ripped apart, thrown away, dismissed. Every little bit of an idea of believing in God is pissed upon, shit upon, and thrown away. It is completely gone. But that's just taken as a given. They don't lean into that at all. They don't get mean about that. They don't make any strong points like Dawkins or Hitchens. They don't dwell on the lack of religion. They don't dwell on the absence of God. They just celebrate humanity. And you've got a show that's about two Mormons that rejects their religion 100% and absolutely loves their humanity. I cannot think of a show I've ever seen, or a movie, or a piece of music, that loves human beings as much as this show. And I have said that the most important part of atheism is to love people. It is an absolute loving and adoring of all things that are human. And this Book of Mormon, what, what I was unable to do, what I was unable to say, Trey and Matt did perfectly. I feel even more like I felt uh, when they did the John Edward uh, South Park, where Teller and I have been trying to do a thing on cold reading and John Edward forever. We are all lined up to do it on um, bullshit, and then Trey and Matt did their John Edward, and it was so perfect, it was like I, I wasn't going to try to do it. It had already been done and been done better. And this Book of Mormon... Um, I laughed as hard as I've ever laughed in the theater. I laughed as hard as I laugh seeing Gilbert Gottfried. Um, and I cried with just pure joy and the beauty and the love of it. It is a complete and utter love letter to humanity and a complete dismissal of all religion, which is all I want out of life. I think, and I don't want to misquote him, but I believe the New York Times quoted Matt um, Stone as saying, um, it was a love letter to the Mormons written by an atheist. Or it was a love letter from an atheist written to the Mormons. And that's what it is. It is atheists just loving Mormons more than they've ever loved anyone. And there's some bullshit. Like Maureen Dowd in the, uh, in the New York Times wrote this incredibly fucked up psychotic piece about how it doesn't really matter how foolish your beliefs are, you still have to have them. That's the point of this show. It's not the point of this show. She's fucking high. And I think Kurt Loder wrote, um, you might say I don't read reviews and I know what Maureen Dowd said because I didn't consider that a review. It was supposed to be an editorial piece. Um, and also Kurt Loder, I did not read, but he said that that same idea, it doesn't matter what you believe in uh, as long as you believe in something. I don't see where they're getting that at all. It says Mormons are wonderful, Mormonism is bullshit. And that is true for all people. Uh, Muslims are wonderful, Islam is bullshit. Christians are wonderful, Christianity is bullshit. Jews are wonderful, Judaism is bullshit. But they are able to do that with doing the bullshit part without leaning on it, which I get hung up in, and just do the beautiful, loving people uh, part of it. And about halfway through the second half of the show, I realized what the last line of the show was going to be. And I began laughing. Halfway through the second half, laughing because they'd set up the whole ending for the whole show so beautifully. And I was so ready for it. And then the show ended, and it didn't end on that. And I was going, 
what the fuck? How could they miss that? It's like they've set up this whole thing. We've got to come back to the tonic. We've got to have the final chord. We've got to have the real point of the whole show right here. How could they miss that? How could they not do it? And then they do the curtain call. They all take their bows. Then they do a reprise of one of the best songs in the show. And they end with the line I knew they had to end with. And I was just on my feet and cheering. It's... Um, it's the greatest thing ever, and I hope you notice, and I hope if Matt and Trey ever get a moment to themselves and ever have the, uh, the urge to watch this, or someone who hangs out with them watches it, please notice that I talked about this, said it was the greatest thing I've ever seen, and I believe I have given away nothing. Not one fucking thing. And I, I think it's the best thing I've ever seen. The Book of Mormon is on Broadway. Holy motherfucker, it's good. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.9% .9 uptime, free 24-7 supports, and no annual commitment. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to order right from your phone, manage your current domains, and more. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. Use the code PEN3 for 799.com domains.